You have never used the word divorce, but I don't think we can keep avoiding it. I know you met Fran when you came to San Francisco. What Fran said was true. We have been seeing each other for a while. Whoa. Well, that's why Karen's been so upset. Old hubby's been a very, very bad boy. Being with Fran wasn't something I planned for. <laughs> yeah, Fran. What are you doing? Please, just tell me that Kevin is going to be all right. Um, I don't want to diminish the seriousness of the injury, but the fact that we caught it early bodes well for him. As soon as we get the swelling down, we'll get him into surgery. I've had great success with this procedure. Good. Uh, what about complications? Well, given that the injury is in the cerebellar region, my main concern is that his vision could be permanently affected. Oh, no. He also uh, could have some problems with coordination and balance. I'm sure he'll come through with flying colors. God, please make him be all right, please. I do hope you enjoyed it while it lasted, because pretty soon you won't remember what it's like to enjoy anything. Getting warmer? No oh, quaint. Oh, my. What have we here? at large. Bingo. Uh, now, uh, where else would the attache case of a prominent lawyer turned carpenter be found? Hmm? Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, my, 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 my. So this is how you spend your valuable time, huh? Playing Tetris. Why am I not surprised? What other surprises? I give permission for my daughter to attend a performance of Pinocchio on Sunday. <laughs> Sweet. Parent or guardian, sign on the dotted line. Self-addressed envelope to the school. Well, you better get cracking here, Mr. Baldwin, and get this in the mail. ASAP, we don't want her to be denied Pinocchio, do we? Ah, a little dab will do you. One lick 
of this envelope and it's psycho time. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we should do a few more just for safety's sake, huh? Better safe than sorry. Say, Scott, tell me, have you ever noticed how those child custody judges just hate demented fathers, huh? <laughs> You better start packing your bags, pal, because you're about to move from the lighthouse to the nut house. <clears throat> How's he doing? He's good. He's a little upset he missed the Jets game, but uh, he wants to go home. I think his doctors might have something to say about that. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, what doctor would want Frank as a patient, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm glad he's doing better. You know, I was, um, I was really worried about him. Yeah, me too. But, uh, thank you for sticking with me through it. Ah, no sweat. No, listen, I mean it. I mean, you're a great pal. Well, you know, I wasn't the only one helping out there, pal. You mean Karen? I just, I felt guilty leaning on her. I mean, she's had so much emotional stuff to deal with this past week. I just, I was afraid she might keel over. I found it on the floor. You took it out of my pocket. I was going to give it back. Oh, right. After you read it a couple of times, I can't believe you did this. I didn't read all of it, okay? Oh, that makes it better. Just calm down. Don't you tell me to calm down, Chris. I know what kind of a jerk you really are. I get to observe Devlin, so you have to start paying me back. Wait a minute. What are, what are you paranoid? Paranoid? You take my letter? I'm paranoid? Look, I explained. You didn't explain. You lied. You know, I can understand why you have trouble believing me since you just found out your husband is a lying cheat. You son of a... What's going on here? It's personal. Well, then it doesn't belong at the hospital. Take it somewhere else. Dr. Wexler, go to the OR, find out what's taking so long. Right. If another intern could observe, I'd like the opportunity to... I don't like working in a crowded room. But maybe Dr. Wexler's assisting. Dr. Ramsey, see if the rest of Frank Scanlon's tests are back. I want to get this operation underway. I hate standing around. While the patient is being prepped, you can distract yourself by checking on the interns. Can I help you with something? Actually, I was just about to ask you the same question. Well, I think we have everything under control here. My name's Ben. What's yours? Anthony. How's the leg, Anthony? It hurts a lot. Yeah? I tell you, Dr. Lambert here is going to fix you up quicker than you can say Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hey, you want to listen to some music? I carry a Walkman in my pocket. It comes in handy during surgery. Here you go. First time suturing a kid. Yeah. Go ahead, you'll do fine. I am just going to put the cut to sleep. You're going to feel a little sting, and then I promise it won't hurt anymore, okay? Dr. Hodder, ICU. Dr. Is there anything I can do? Waiting, this waiting is so hard. I know, I know. I can't live without him, pal. I, just, I can't. Oh, uh, Dr. Burgess, could I, could I see Kevin now? We've got to stabilize him first. Well, how long will that take? Give them 15 minutes. They're busy getting pre op blood work and starting an IV.
Libra nos peccati nostris. Libra nos salvignibus gehenne. Tonka. Okay. okay. All right. Let me get the knife. There we go. Come on. I know right where I left Dirty Kitty. She's sitting on my pillow. Well, good. Well, then you find Dirty Kitty, and then we'll get your toothbrush and a change of clothes and a pair of pajamas. How many nights am I staying with you, Grandma? Just tonight, so that Daddy can stay at the hospital with Kevin and Lucy. And we are going to have such fun. Have you ever made caramel apples? No. Grandma, somebody's been here. What do you mean, sweetheart? See the picture of me and Daddy? That's not where it goes. Daddy always has it in the same exact place, so Daddy can see it from his chair when he's working. Well, maybe Lucy moved it. I don't think so. I'll, I'll ask her, and if she did, then I will remind her to leave that picture just where your Daddy likes it. Uh, you know, we better go because uh, Grandpa is waiting in the car. So let's go upstairs and get the dirty kitty and all your things. That's right, Granny. Hurry up and get little Miss Sharp Eyes out of here. Great job. I'm here to check on the patient. Great, he's all yours. Anthony, we're finished. Okay, all right. Thanks for letting me use this, Ben. You're very welcome, Anthony. You're one brave kid. Yeah, it won't scar too much. Uh, Dr. Lambert stitched it up better than new. Great. Thanks for the compliment. You said you'd be a great surgeon. Blend used on me in med school. I noticed your mind before I noticed anything else. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, it works both ways here. Ever since we broke up, you've been treating me like the devil incarnate. And uh, let me remind you, you are not the only injured party here. You told me you were going to leave your wife. I was. And? And I um, couldn't bring myself to hurt her. But it doesn't mean that I loved you any less. There was a time I would have believed you, Ben. The time is long gone. I'm sorry I stormed out of the restaurant. I don't always think straight when I'm around you. Okay. All right, Ben, spill it. What? You're laying it on with a spatula. What do you want? No, nothing. I just... It was nice watching you work on the boy. You know, and, and, and the two of us being together without you trying to tear me limb from limb. Well, you were on your best behavior. Okay, I shouldn't have asked you to leave General Hospital. <laughs> asked me? You threatened me. You said you'd use your influence to get me kicked out. You leapt to that conclusion, just like you assumed that I wanted you out of Port Charles so I, my daughter wouldn't know about us. Well, why the hell else would you want to force me out? Did it ever occur to you that it might be because it's difficult for me being around you? Don't do this to me, Ben. You are free to go any time you want. No. You live with my daughter. I cannot avoid you. And every time I'm with you, I find myself thinking... Excuse me. Hi. Mean to interrupt. You left that stuffed animal that Serena gave you in the truck. I don't want her to think that you didn't like it. Oh, no. Uh, you know, I'll just go get it. Uh, so I put it in the on-call room. Thanks. Yeah. Tell Serena how grateful I am. I will. So long. So that's why you've been keeping me at arm length. Phone for the ambulance chaser. Scott and I are friends, nothing else. Isn't uh, that the friend that gave you a ride back from the restaurant the other night? Are you jealous? Uh, no comment. Did you tell him about us? <laughs> it's not exactly my favorite topic of conversation. Well, neither one of us have much to benefit from having our past revealed. You know, I like this new soft cell approach of yours. It's much better than the Mack truck one. I'd like to see you smile. 
Don't get me wrong. I still don't believe a word you say. Eve. I think you have a patient waiting. Oh, hi. Can, can I see him? Can I see him before surgery? Uh, yes. Just a <sighs> Okay, so, how do I do this? You're gonna be fine. Hey, hi. I get to go into surgery with Ben and Devlin. He's a jerk, but he's the best. Whatever, just make him look good. Okay. Hey, I heard you're going in with Devlin? Yeah, if I don't fall apart first. Oh, well, good luck. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Devlin, the one you had dinner with? Hey, it's me. The person who loves you the most in the whole wide world. Listen, enough of this scary stuff, okay? I'm, I'm really tired of it. I'm over it big time. I'm ready for a nice, kind of boring life. You gotta get better so we can go home. Start living that future that we plan together, okay? Doc, you gotta get better. Because I can't live my life unless you're at the center of it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Help! Somebody! Somebody help! I don't know. The machine just started going crazy. Sailing just dropped. This is wide open. Who did this? What, what, what do you mean? So I need help in here now! Somebody moved the picture and Lucy wouldn't do it. Well, maybe somebody was just dusting and forgot to put it back. Maybe. smart child you have there, Scott. Oh, let me amend that. One smart child you had. Because one little taste of Uncle Rex's special elixir, and you will be waving bye-bye to Serena and all the accoutrements that go along with her. Do it. I would say that is one case. It is closed. Yes, Counselor. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. What did he do to you in there? Watch me stitch up a kid. You okay? I told you I hate it when you're nice to me. Where's Dr. Devlin? Something's wrong with Kevin. Where is he? What's going on here? Kevin Do Collins, his IV was wide open. He should have been set at TKO. He got over a liter of fluid. Did you slow it down? Yeah, I did. I started him on 100% O2, uh, 10 milligrams dexamethasone, IV push, and a mannitol drip. Who set the IV? Amber Ruth Waxman. Did you start Kevin Collins' IV? Yes. Is there a problem? It was you. I don't understand. Thanks to your incompetence, the patient's neurological status is in danger. You have compromised the surgery. You call the OR, find out when the damn room is open. You are not to set foot in that surgery. Is that understood? Yes. I'll go find another answer. Who you got? Excuse me, I'm, I'm available. Let's go scrub. Are you okay? Yes. Go take care of Lucy. I'm, I'm fine. All right. I'll check with you later. Okay. Karen. 
I know how you feel. No, you don't. That line was TKO. I don't know who opened it, but I did not. He has to make it Scott. He just has to. <gasps> This is Charles Gibson. And Lisa McCree. Are you paying too much for vitamins? Tomorrow on The Buck Starts Here, we'll show you how to get the most for your money. Plus, James Taylor joins us for song and conversation on tomorrow's Good Morning America. Watch what happens when the judgment comes down in Edmund's custody battle on All My Children Today.